afternoon. Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Tuesday afternoon. Voters in Page County head to the polls November 7th on a $16.7 million bond issue to cover the costs of the new county jail. The facility would also house the Page County Sheriff's Office and PageCom Dispatch. The first in a series of informational meetings on the proposed jail bond issue takes place at 6 tomorrow evening at Shenandoah High School's Gladys Worsick Jones Auditorium and Thursday at 6 p.m. at Essex Junior Senior High School. Part 1 of a three-part series of the jail project is available online at kmaland.com. A complaint filed to the Iowa Public Information Board against Page County has been withdrawn. During its regular meeting recently, the Iowa Public Information Board received the withdrawal of the complaint filed by former Supervisor Chuck Morris against the current Board of Supervisors, alleging it violated Iowa Chapter 21. The complaint concerned the June 14th special meeting held via conference call with the Fremont County Board of Supervisors regarding the Johnson Run drainage ditch. IPIB Executive Director Erica Eckley says concerns about meeting minutes were added to the acceptance after Page County officials submitted previous minutes noting prior discussions about the June 14th meeting. Sydney residents are still expressing frustrations over a lack of action on a city-owned property near the fire station. More public comments regarding 909 Illinois Street and its proposed plans for a multi-sport court were heard during the Sydney City Council's work session last night. Earlier this year, the city received a $25,000 neighboring planning grant to fund a creating a plan for neighborhood revitalization, including the court. Comments also followed a motion to open discussion of the vacant lot during new business, which died for lack of second. And state and local officials have reached agreement on a traffic light repair at a busy Montgomery County intersection. At its regular meeting this morning, the county's Board of Supervisors approved an agreement with the Iowa Department of Transportation regarding a stoplight repair and detour at the intersection of U.S. Highway 34 and Highway 48. KMA on track weather is sunny this afternoon. Highs of the upper 70s mostly clear tonight with lows in the lower 50s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.